Cisco IoT Control Center is the world's leading connectivity management platform. It does more than just connect and manage devices, though. It's an engine for growth and profitability, accelerating your IoT journey from when you deploy your first devices to operating at scale. At its core, Cisco IoT Control Center enables you to move faster, operate smarter, and scale safer with a broad set of capabilities designed to meet any business scenario. Please give a warm welcome to Marco Garacci, Head of Sales EMEA, IoT and Mobility at Cisco, and Tele2 IoT Managing Director, Cyril Deschanel. Welcome, Marco, to IoT Talks. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, sir, very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's, I'm just amazed by the entrepreneurial spirit uh, that, that this event brings. So, we have been uh, partners from the beginning, by the way, uh, since uh, nine years, since we started, a bit more than yeah. nine years. And uh, I know, my team knows what you're doing, but the mic is not so good. But um, maybe it's good for the audience that you explain what is a connectivity management platform and why is it a key ingredient for any IoT solution to be deployed? Yeah, no, sure, absolutely. I mean, as this audience knows very well, um, there's, there can be a lot of hidden complexity in deploying and managing an IoT business, especially when you think about your entire IoT stack and every single element as a potential point of failure. So what we're aiming with the CMP, with our connectivity management platform, is um, how can we take out some of the complexity, or actually the entire complexity, um, out of the part that is basically re regarding managing all of your connectivity and managing the SIM cards? Um, because we believe that Complexity doesn't mean complicated, so we're trying to simplify that as much as possible also because we know that you guys are not necessarily you know, experts in managing SIM cards, so we're offering that through the CMP, and we also know how important that is because in the end, every device that you're bringing out there to your end customers is actually you know, a remote brand ambassador to your company, so that's super important also to have that kind of visibility then on the, on the connectivity. Thank you. I think if you can explain a little bit that further, then it will bring you even more insights to the, to the yeah, audience here. No, no my pleasure. So, you know, if you think about um, different, different aspects about your life cycle when you're um, deploying your devices, you know, let's start with the deployment of your devices, which can be, you know, if it's a manual process, quite error prone. Um, and um, so helping you to scale your I IoT business is, uh, is, is key then to have a CMP. For, or the other one is also when you're then managing, and always keep in mind that it's about managing at scale when you're having hundreds or thousands of devices to manage. It's about making sure that you're managing everything around operational efficiencies, having your cost under control, but also making sure that um, you drive growth of your device deployments. Um, and that's everything, let's say, that, uh, that Control Center provides you. To give you an example, there, is a, there was a fleet management company that was going into the IoT business, and um, as they were shipping out devices to different countries, they actually had to, before they were shipping those devices out to different countries, they had to upload specific firmware on those devices. And uh, as, as they were then getting sometimes like super rush orders, it was important that actually it, it actually created a lot of operational inefficiencies because they had to do overtime, they had to flash some of the devices overnight because they wanted to ship them out. So what actually now IoT Control Center helps them with is that they don't need to do this flashing of the firmware as they're shipping it. Actually, they can just ship out their devices with a vanilla firmware to the different countries. And as those countries, as those devices then arrive and land in those countries, they're actually able to then, depending on where they are, over the air send that firmware update. And with that, not only, let's say, you know, they have been able to have more agility in their processes and also able to reduce significant costs and as they were able to um, reduce that over, over, over hours that their teams were working on. I like when it's a concrete example <laughs> like this one. Um, so, I mean, all our customers have uh, challenges, of course. So what do you think... Uh, and the challenges it can help solving with your, with your connectivity management platform. Can you give some examples of what kind of challenges it helps solving? Yeah. So if you think about um, the different areas, let's say, when you're 
provisioning your devices um, as, you're, as you're launching a new device, um, device space, but also when you think about um, managing, let's say, all those devices at a, at a large scale, um, you, need, you need to make sure that you have, let's say, different security aspects also, also included. Um, and, um, and, and those are, let's say, the mechanisms that we, that, we, that we can have. When we think about the security mechanism that we have, we think about um, different aspects. So first of all, it's, it's at heart for us to make sure that security is, is, uh, a, is, a, is a key aspect for us because we know how important uh, the, the, the business is for our customers. And when we think about then those two aspects, we think about one area is how we're, say, how we're making sure that the platform access is secure. And we think, and to give you some, a few examples, we have two-factor authentication. We have the possibility to have, to have a restrictive access only for certain IPs uh, that can access um, the, the platform. And on the other side, when you think about how do we secure the devices, we have IMEI uh, lock possibilities. We have automation rules that help to secure it, but we also have whitelist possibilities. So there's a long list of security protocols that help our customers to make sure that only the people that should have access to those devices and that also the SIM cards only land in those devices that are supposed to be, to be used by the customers. Fantastic. Well, let's come to verticals. I mean, we always got the question, is your CMP platform provided by Cisco, is it focused on a specific verticals or can it address more than one vertical? Yeah. So actually, Control Center is, and we're really, you know, we are, we're really proud about that because we have been, uh, we have been pioneering the connectivity management platform more than 15 years ago, and we're really proud about um, the fact that we have more than 30,000 enterprises today on Control Center, and we're, it's around, it's, it's more than we just recently also passed that it's more than 200 million SIM cards 200. that we are managing. Um, on control center globally across more than 50 operators. And uh, it is a horizontal platform, but what we're actually seeing is that one, one vertical stands really out, and that is connected car with more than 70 million connected cars and SIM cards on the platform. But actually, if we look around, we also have seen, especially also now after with COVID, we have seen a, a big push of payment or POS payment terminals because everybody, let's say, especially also in Europe and, and Germany is a good example. Um, you can now also go to the, to the butcher or to the, to the bakery and pay, and pay there, let's say, with a card. So there was a big push of, of moving from, from um, you know, the paper money over to, to electoral payment. So that's one, one, one big area. But also with regards to asset tracking, that's a very, very big vertical that we have been seeing you know, exploding also um, across the last years. But overall, IoT Control Center is a horizontal platform, but the great flexibility and the possibility of customizing, to give you an example, we have, you have more than 3,000 possibilities to combine our rules. And that really gives you the opportunity to customize the platform to the needs of your specific use case. And with that, we're really able to cater super easy, simple devices, to our, our use cases over really to the really highly complex like connected car. I thought I knew your platform, but I'm still learning. That's good. <laughs> so um, as you said, you are, you are clearly the leading platform in the market and um, starting yes. 15 years ago. Uh, but how do you keep that competitive edge? You know, what, what, is, what makes you stay the number one? Yeah, yeah, no. So let me see if that is better. Yeah, it's coming up. Um, so we have made a very early decision that when we have built control center, and that's also something that, that Cisco basically is the approach from Cisco, we always start building technology with the enterprise in mind. So we want to make sure that we're building something that the enterprise can use and that they can start integrating into their existing ecosystem. And that was also what happened when we did IoT control center. So there was a very good reason why we actually did a lot of investments into deep API integrations. There was, a, there was a clear reason why we also looked about how can we automate as much as possible on this platform. And this is something that we have been doing, and this is, I think, also one of the strength points of the IoT Control Center platform. But as we now continue with 
innovation. So there's a couple of things that we're right now also working on. So to give you an example, 5G and also 5G SA is right now a topic for us that drives um, for us a lot of changes on the platform. We're thinking about how can we empower all of you in the future also to leverage uh, the 5G technology even, even more. Um, we also think, and I really like the theme about um, beyond the visibility line, because actually what we're also right now working on is um, AI and machine learning based insights into, into how your devices are actually behaving from a connectivity point of view, so that sometimes you might not have the visibility, but the control center will help you and can help you in the future to detect certain anomalies um, in, your, in, your, in your fleets. Um, so that's something that, that we keep doing. And then obviously the, the, I think recent technologies like LTE, M, NB, NB, IoT is also something that we have been adapting the platform to also support those specific use cases. And I think we are really, or I, I know that we are actually really the only platform out there in the market that provides enterprises the flexibility and also the possibility to have a really large number of use cases from, from, from having simple use cases up to high use cases and we're supporting this all with our innovation. And one last thing I want to also mention is that we have a really high pace of innovating on the platform. Every three weeks we are making a new release and this release is available then to everybody um, and we're in innovating constantly. That's quite a lot because uh, platform software release every three weeks. It must be heavy in terms management, the demand management for the what features are you adding? No? Absolutely. So well yes. done, well done. Yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of a uh, partnership, you know, we said we started the partnership nine years ago. You you even helped Tele2 yeah. IoT to start the yeah. business. Uh, I was not here at that time, but I've heard from my predecessors. What have you learned from that partnership experience? Because partnership is not easy. Uh, you're a strategic supplier for us, a strategic partner. Well, what are your take on it? And yeah. what can we share with the audience as uh, how to make a partnership successful? Yeah. I mean, first of all, we are extremely proud of the partnership that we have been building as, as, the la you know, as, as, as really the last nine, nine years. Um, and I think overall, you know, we, are, we have been partners and it's a little bit like, you know, like in a, in a, in a marriage, you know. We are, we are great friends sometimes, you know. Um, you also, you know, you're not always the easiest maybe, but that's also good because you keep us also honest. He's and lying now. <laughs> you keep us honest and that's always important for us as well. So and that's, you know, I think that's also the, the importance in a relationship to make sure that we are transparent and that we're, and then we're open. And I think the other aspect that is really important is that, and that's also where I see where our both companies and teams are really alike, is that we are so passionate about IoT and we are obsessed with our customers. And I think if you bring those two ingredients together, then I think this also really is the is the juice of our relationship. And uh, and in the end, I think it's really you know all of those amazing customers that that we have here today and so on. You know, I think we're our job is making sure that we empower you, and uh, because you are you are the innovators, and we want to make sure that that you can thrive. And we're taking away a little bit of the complexity that you might face in your deployments. But um, but yeah, I think that's. How we, how we can run also you know, many, many years together in the future. And I, I really like one point that you mentioned about the, the transparency and, and the directness, I would say. No? When we have an issue, we discuss it. I you know I can call anyone at all levels in Cisco and we get feedback, we sit together, we make it happen. If there is a feature to discuss of the future, you, you consider our needs that our customers bring us and then we consolidate and you push it so as well to make it happen. So I think that, that level of transparency brings trust, which is at the end, the, the foundation of any partnership, so I, I really like what it is. We also have the digital audience, so Judy, do we have any question from the digital audience? We do, but I have a question first, Marco. Um, IoT control centers, it's got a lot of bells and whistles, quite a glamorous thing. Is it, does just say a startup or a small company, is it, is it beneficial for them to have a, a, a content man a connectivity management platform with all those bells and whistles, or can they go with something simpler? Absolutely.